Hello everyone. In this demo, we will walk over through video filtering security service, which we introduced with our latest OT OS 7.0. With the video filter security profile, you can filter YouTube videos by FortiGuard filter categories or channel ID for more granular override of a single channel, user or a video. Let us take a look at typical home or branch network end-to-end -end security fabric deployment with 40 AP connected to a 40 gate, which acts as a wireless controller and a client is connected to the access point. Now, let us get into a real game with video filtering. First, to start with, we need to create a video filtering profile under security profiles. Here, I made a custom selection of 40 guard category based filters to block Hello or monitor. Restrict YouTube access selected as strict and for more granular control, a user can configure channel overrides with channel IDs. Let us pick three use cases. Number one, blocking by channel override. Number two, blocking by 40 guard video based category. Last one, allow access by 40 guard category. Now we finished creating a video filtering profile. Let us edit the firewall policy from flow mode to proxy mode. Select video filtering profile, the one we created and SSL inspection as deep inspection. Now we are all set from the FortiGate configuration and ready for the filtering. Here I have a YouTube application without signing into any channel account. And from this, let us pick a music category. We can see the video is playing. As the video is playing, let me take a step back and go into the FortiGate for the logs. The application logs show the YouTube log with the video access. And when we go to the web filter logs, it doesn't show any current video log because the video filter hasn't kicked in yet. Now, to execute our first use case, block by channel override. I am logging into YouTube account, which is mentioned in the filtering profile to block. Once logged in, the video filtering action kicked in and the video is blocked with the replacement message. Refresh the web filter logs and we can see the action has blocked and the detailed log is available in the raw log view. Let us move to our second use case, block by FortiGuard category. We have blocked sports category in the profile. From the YouTube, I will access a sport video to play. As video starts playing, maybe it's due to the cache. Once I refresh, the video is blocked with the replacement message and the logs are available in the web filter logs with the blocked category. Our last use case is allow by 40 guard category. We allowed knowledge category as to allow in our video filtering profile. And I am on the Fortinet channel. Let us play a video from this channel. We can see the video is playing. Again, we might think it is a cache, but let me refresh. Ah, the video is still playing and it's allowed by 40 guard filters. Now we covered all the three use cases, our demo is completed and thank you for watching the video.